modern pear farming and harvesting, next level agriculture technology. Toshiji is a blessed city situated in Japan with mountains in each of its boundaries. Its climate consists of various temperatures and long hours of sunlight in comparison to other cities. This is also known as Japan's leading agricultural area. In Toshiji, a kind of pear is grown that's termed Nikori. The city is the best area for pears because it gets warmer in summer, while colder in winter, making it more suitable to grow pears. Nikori pears are about 2.5 times bigger than ordinary pears. This pear is mainly cultivated with the intention of being exported because of its long shelf life, sweetness in the taste, and admiring golden color. It also has a better yielding potential when it's grown. To ensure better fruit production so that it can be exported with maintaining the quality standard, each Nikori pear is checked by the farmers. These pears are climate friendly and resistant to agro diseases. Let us show you how the Nikori pear is grown in the field. The farms that previously have grown in the same category are chosen every year. During spring, the farm is cleaned and the trees are given great care. The leftovers are cleaned, especially the trees that become branchless. Each tree is specially chosen by following the criteria. Therefore, not even a single tree is randomly chosen based on intuition, while the branches with growth potential will be fixed on nets. The trees begin to produce flowers, and this is the time considered to fertilize the pear trees by hand, because it's observed that manual work during fertilization season help to gain more productivity. If you like the video, please like, share, and comment below. Let us know about your feedback. The next stage is the paving of the pear trees with cheesecloth. The paving or covering is done to protect the pear trees from excessive sunlight and rain. This is how high-level care is being taken by the Japanese farmers for the production of Nikori trees. Not only this, the other preventative measures are yet to come, and they're carried out in the month of May and June. Among them comes the spraying of pesticide sprays to abstain the trees from bacteria and other diseases. The fertilization will work perfectly if the preventative measures were carried out by the farmers, and each branch would be supposed to grow 10 fruits at least. But still, the farmers aren't that greedy and keep only a third of the fruits so they can provide sufficient nutrition to the fruit. During August, a good part of the fruits are plucked because of their undesired shape. But still, these fruits have a great taste. So these are taken to the market and sold at a lower price. During October, the Nikori begins to adopt a perfect shape and becomes sweeter. Pears come with stone cells that drive them to adopt a crunchy texture. A perfect Nikori pear weighs about 2.3 kilograms. Meanwhile, in October, only four pears are harvested, and at the end of October, the cheesecloth that was paved will be removed. During the month of November, the Nikori adopts the perfect shape and resembles to be a golden fruit with enriched sweetness in its taste. 
because the perfect harvesting season is carried during November, and these pairs entail 135 days starting from the first day of their pollination. One kilogram of Nikori pear costs around $10 in the market. So each 2.5 kilogram Nikori pear will be sold at a value of $25. Countries that do the most production of pears include China, Argentina, the United States, Italy, Turkey, etc. But when it comes to Nikori pears, then it's without any doubt Japan. The main exporter of these pears is mainly Southeast Asian countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, etc. These countries' economy is mainly based on tourism. So, to attract tourists, they export every sort of surprising item, be it food or anything else. In the same manner, it's also used for the manufacturing of various alcoholic drinks. Besides, the production of these pears doesn't entail any high investment, but the farmers are supposed to be very cautious in terms of care and ensure duly spraying of pesticides because pests can cause catastrophic damage to the pear trees, and all their efforts will be wasted. In the same manner, being greedy will also cause them heavy damage because the harvesting potential is standardized at four Nikori pears to one tree. And if the farmers are greedy, then the load of the 10 fruits will break the branch of the tree before the harvesting season. This is why the farmers are suggested to pluck the undesired shaped pears during October and sell them at lower prices while only keeping four pears that weigh around 10 kilograms. Now, probably we've cleared your doubt why being greedy can cost the farmers high-level losses because the branches are so thin that they couldn't bear the weight of 10 fruits that almost weigh around 25 kilograms. So it's better to remain on the standard rather than being greedy for some extra dollars. Another core element for the production of these pears is the environmental conditions that are found in Toshigi, Japan only. So it won't be possible for everyone to cultivate Nikori in their areas as it demands extra warmth in summers and colder weather in winters. Have you noticed one bizarre point in this video? Guess what? It's the utilization of modern machinery. Not a single machine was used in the overall process except the use of weighing machines. This is because of ensuring greater productivity. This is also certain that the use of machines saves time and cost of production, but the farmers still prefer the manual method in each process that are the cultivation harvesting and selling of these Nikori pears.